EA, what could tip the scale one way or another Thursday night? The return of Quinn and Williams in the defensive tackle position for the Jets. 11 sacks on the season. Trevor Lawrence won't want to step up in the pocket if 95's on the field. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill, presented by HCL Tech, the Jets and Jags. Square off on Thursday night football, a short week for both teams. The Jets' final home game at MetLife Stadium, and they need it, EA. A lot of mental preparation for the Jets prior to this game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. After starting the season 7-4, and four, the Jets have lost three consecutive one-score games. They are 7-7. Seven and seven. You're right, when you look at the schedule, they have two AFC games remaining starting here with the Jaguars. They finish the season in Miami against the Dolphins. They're going to have to win both of those ball games to have a chance. On the other side of the coin, you're talking about a Jacksonville Jaguars team that is very hot. In fact, they have won three of the past four games. If they win out, they will claim the AFC South. Yeah, it's going to be a photo finish, at least potentially, for both of these teams. And with the Jacksonville Jaguars, everything starts with Trevor Lawrence, the number one pick in last year's draft. He's been great. He just led the Jaguars back from a 17-point deficit to beat the Dallas Cowboys at home. He's completing 66% of his passes. He's got 24 touchdowns. He's protecting the football. He's got only seven interceptions this year. Christian Kirk has an opportunity to get 1,000 yards receiving in this game, as does Travis Etienne, 1,000 yards rushing. He's got other targets that he likes to get the ball to, including Evan Ingram and Zay Jones. On the other side of the ball, the Jets continue to play very good defense. They were responsible for just 10 points allowed last week against the Detroit Lions. The one area where you would like to see increased production, no, takeaway department. Over the course of the last five games, the Jets have just one takeaway. It would go a long way a Thursday night to a victory if they can get the ball for their offense in some opportunistic um, situations. And Trevor Lawrence doesn't turn the football over a whole lot. Since week nine, he only has one interception that came last week against the Dallas Cowboys. And for the Jets, we think about how young this team is. The Jets have played a lot of 1 p.m. Sunday games. This is the only primetime game on the schedule when the schedule was released in April, and that means First time for Garrett Wilson and Sauce Gardner and the Jets rookies to get their action under the lights. So Garrett Wilson, he needs just 34 yards receiving to reach that 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career. It seems like every week we're talking about Wilson going over 95 yards receiving. On the other side of the ball, fellow first-round pick, Sauce Gardner. He leads the National Football League with 16 PDs. He's been so good. He's getting the Revis treatment. Last week against the Detroit Lions, he was not targeted. Uh, but those guys are primetime players. I think it's a cool opportunity. Speaking of the Jets offensively, they are number one in the National Football League with 40 explosive plays by the rookies, and then they were number three in the National Football League with 10 touchdowns by the rookie class. So these guys have provided big moments here early in their careers, and they're going to be Jets for a long, long time. Offensively, Zach Wilson, you just want to have him play some consistent football because we talk about the explosive plays in the pass game. We saw that last week, 317 yards and two touchdowns against the Lions. You want to see his completion percentage go up so the Jets can sustain drives. And let's see if they can run the football because you want to have a balanced attack against Jacksonville. Defense that features Josh Allen, he can get after the quarterback. And Zach Wilson, you talk about running the football. Last year he had a 50-plus yard touchdown on the ground when these teams met late in the season. And third Thursday, it's the rematch of Jets-Jaguars.